Model Making Guru is sponsored by eModels.co.uk. Make something awesome. Hey everyone, it's Fox from modelmaking.guru here. Hello, hello, and welcome to a very quick video about the binder that you will have just received with issues nine and 10 of the Diagostini Build Your Own X-Wing part work. Now, if you're not familiar with the Diagostini part works, you get a binder. Now, regular subscribers, I think, get the first one free with issues nine and 10. Uh, and then I think the next three or four, I think you get two or three or four of these throughout the course of the whole thing. I think they're charged, you pay for those. I don't know how, I'm not a regular subscriber, so I don't know how it works. Premium subscribers, I assume they get three or four of these included in their subscription. I don't know. You'd have to check with Diag. I've not been able to find out from their blurb specifically how many you get and when you get them and who pays for them. So anyway, you'll have got your first one free, whatever kind of subscriber you are, and you'll have opened it up and you'll have gone, what the hell is that? What is this? Now I'd forgotten about this. When I did the D'Agostini Falcon many years ago, I got this and I had to look at what the hell to do with it. And then I'd forgotten about it and I opened this up and I thought, I have to go and look it up again because I still can't remember what the hell you're supposed to do with it. I shall show you how you use this to store your magazines. Dead simple. You're going to need some equipment. Let's move in the camera a bit and we'll show you what to do. So unlike the Warhammer Conquest part that I'm doing where you get a ring binder and uh, little holes in the magazines, the magazines you get from Diag are stapled uh, and they don't come apart, which is nice, but they're not designed to be ring bound. Well, you can go and get yourself a ring binder and put some holes in them, but I'd rather not. Uh, this is designed to capture those and keep them in a binder. And if I remember rightly, you get about 18 or 19, maybe 20 in each binder, which is why I think you get four of them. Anyway, what you need to do, first of all, take this amazing ladder thing, Take your nippers or cutters, or you can just snap them off and just snap those out like that. There we go. And the top one as well, which you can't see. I'll do that in a minute. Uh, and you've got these little crossbars. And all you need to do, put that there, is you can just pop them out. But what I'm going to do is go in with my knife and just snip these out one by one until we've got a little pile of little sticks. Okay, so now you have a little pile of little sticks. You'll note that one end of the stick is kind of shaped like a chisel blade. And one end has a little flat sticky out bit like it's like a nail basically. There's the, there's the head, there's the pointy bit. What you do is you carefully move those to one side. And all you want to do is you want to take the bladed part and push that through this hole here and it will go in and then wedge itself in place. It's not gonna be a massively permanent attachment. It's not gonna stick there forever, but you wanna go through and start putting these in. Now, what I would recommend is not put them all in because they don't lock into place and it is possible for them to come back out again. So I've got 10 issues. So I'm going to do 10 to start with. Okay, so they're on there now, 10 in there. And all you need to do, you need to do the same on the top as well. So these are in place. If you wanted to, you could put all of them in and cover them with tape so they're not going to fall out. But I'm just going to do 10 because I've got 10 magazines. And then once these are in, I'll put the rest of them in a little bag off to one side. I'm not going to lose them that way. And then each time I get a couple of magazines, I'll put them in. And all you need to do is take your magazine, open it to the center. The center is where the staples are. Take your first issue and quite simply, you want to feed it so that the spine you've added goes up the center here. So a bit like, now it's easy to do on in reality, but not on camera, a bit like that. And then you do the same with the top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go off, I'm gonna put all the ones in the top and I'm gonna feed all the magazines through. So you do this for the top and the bottom, issue one. Then you come along, you do exactly the same with issue two, issue three, issue four, and you work your way along. So let me go and get those done. And that should then be all of those in place. And there you go. That's all 10 issues now installed into the binder quite nicely. It's a weird way of doing it, but it works. Those bits at the bottom here that were really loose, 
they're now firm and nicely in place because the magazines are jamming them into place so that works out quite nicely i have got the rest of the pieces off in the back there in a little bag just ready for future issues i thought i might as well cut them off now so I'd leave them hanging around but there you go that's that all you need to do once you've done that is just fold it along the spine here like that and there you go nice scrunchy binder now like i said i'm not a regular subscriber i don't know if diag have got me on the premium subscription or the regular subscription or what so i don't know if i'm going to get more of these or not and it, again i don't know if if you're a subscriber whether you get the first one free and you have to buy the rest or whether you get the rest of them i just don't know i've not been able to find out so like i said before you might need to check with diag to see what you get on your subscription package but there you go at least you now know what to do with that that's going to do us only a very quick video thank you very much for watching do stay tuned for more of these obviously we've got a whole year and a half to go yet but thanks very much for watching take care of yourselves go make something awesome like this don't forget of course if you want to do this part work there is a link in the description below this video for a few of the different regions this is available in so do go and check it out and yes it is available in the us it came out in the us first before over here in the uk so if you're in the us you can do this one anyway yes take care of yourselves Go make something awesome. Go be awesome, you there. And I'll say until next time, adios amoebas.